And we're back to the start again for the Island Challenge Cup, the University Women's Eight. We have University of London Boat Club on the top of your screen, the purple. And the bottom of your screen on the Buckingham station, you see ASR Niras from Amsterdam. And off they go. Once again, I want to take a moment, please, the, 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 the lads that we have that lie in the stick boat holding the boats ready in position, they're lying in this torrential rain. Uh, this is not the kind of weather we're expecting the week of Henley, but a nice clean start from both eights, purring away once again from those stick boats. Here as they're taking a bit of a slip out the end of the island of the University of London. This is a B crew, I must point out. So there's two University of London women's eights in this Island Challenge Cup event. Coming a little bit further down the course with you now. Niras have squeezed out a little bit more of a lead. Slightly clear water there. On the left of your screen you see here with these slightly burgundy blades and white stripes down them over the purple of UL. Now this Niras crew, we did see them racing at Ghent recently where they, they faced other, many other British crews like Oxford Brooks, Fedwood Scullers and Leander, and here they're taking on University of London B crew. So they are going through all the big universities that we, we know and love in, in the UK, and so far they're doing this. I mean, it's, it's still tight between the two crews, but New have had the better of the two starts. And again, used to using their length, using their power, it won't be comfortable. UL looks like they've got a slightly higher rating from this angle. So I think there's still quite a lot to come in this race. And I must say, Catherine, this University of London Book Club B crew had an absolute corker to get to this stage. They had a great race yesterday beating Imperial College. And, you know, they, to get to this stage and be against one of the very best university women's aides probably in the world, that's what we're here for at this stage. Um, they're doing a great job. But the Niras crew at the moment have got the slight edge and they're moving away the bottom of your screen. You see them there. They've back through that rain in the first half and let me tell you if you're watching this and you're, you're maybe not rower it's hard to row in that rain it makes everything a bit slippy it makes you a bit colder we do a warm-up so we're primed and we're ready to be on that start and you know when that flag is dropped we're ready to go whereas you're sitting there for a few minutes getting cold so it's, it's not easy to do this it's not what we expect at the end of june but we take what's thrown at us and they're doing a great job as they're coming through the remnant now just a little bit of clear water yeah, it's getting more comfortable for that nearest crew. And like you said, you know, they're all racing. I mean, it's, it's not that it's got really cold, but they are racing. There's a lot of skin on show. And when they're warming up earlier on, they would have boated and it would have been glorious sunshine and, and feeling like a, a sort of typical summer's day. The clouds came in very quickly, the rain dropped, and they would have been soaked by the time they got to the start line. And that, that does play with your mind as an athlete. You have to override that and still feel that your muscles can produce the performance you need. And what I think we never quite know is, as you said, the University of London had a really very, very feisty race the whole way down the course yesterday. And, you know, with a 24-hour turnaround, there's always that challenge of how fresh can those legs feel the day after a very tight race. But they're not letting them go. They're staying in touch. And UL are just over a length behind. I think they've done a cracking job here through the middle of this race. You are not comfortable if you're on this Niras crew and you have a crew, you know, overlapping your stern, are you, Catherine? Oh, you're definitely not. You always want a little bit more comfort. So you can enjoy the Henley crowds. And they're not going to be enjoying this quite yet. Um, it's great. They've, they've got a new sort of stroke girl on the Niras crew. Um, she's, she's named as the freshman of the boat. And rowing, um, it's her first time, I think, she's going to be at Henley Royal Regatta. So hopefully will be enjoying the racing so far. They've certainly set a, she set a really nice pace for that New Year's boat. Although, like you said, not can't be completely relaxed with how close the University of London are pushing them. But you don't see the tension. You see that that, that length and rhythm they, 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 they used at the very beginning of the race to get ahead is just holding now. And it probably has a huge impact on this University of London crew being amongst some of the very best rowers in the university stage because the university of london a crew are doing a very good job at the moment they had a very strong regatta at henley women's we saw them two weeks ago losing to brown in the final so you know we've, we've, they've got a very good team behind them and that idea that having a big squad a big successful and fast squad makes you a bit better and we're really seeing this here yeah and often if you've got very two you know two very competitive boats together whether it's eights fours quads singles you know they can use each other in training they really push each other so that's a really a big advantage for the big universities as well what you're not seeing on these pictures is the uh, very loud thunder and flashes of lightning that are now circling the regatta. So, be interesting what happens next. Indeed, it's a little bit 
bit brighter there, so hopefully it's passing. Let's all have our fingers crossed. But the, this Niraz crew from Amsterdam run the Amstel. Coming up towards that finish line, they're going to take the win the Island Challenge Cup. It's Thursday of the regatta, moving on to the next day, it's the University of London Beach Crew.